inflammation and high blood pressure. For many of you with hypertension, aka high blood pressure, a fire is burning intensely within you, which must be extinguished. Inflammation is the cause of many illnesses. And studies now point towards inflammation as a key trigger and driver for high blood pressure. The second biggest cause of kidney disease after diabetes. If you haven't already gathered, treating the cause of your illness is rule number one for healing yourself from renal disease. Treat the cause, not the symptoms. Treat the person, not the disease. A group of researchers came together to observe whether C-reactive protein equals a marker of systemic inflammation is linked to high blood pressure. C-reactive protein has already been connected with the increased likelihood of myocardial infarction equals heart attack and stroke. Therefore, the dangers to the cardiovascular system must be clearly identified. On a side note, inflammation develops due to diabetes, gastrointestinal disorders, dementia, increased aging, arthritic conditions, skin disorders, immune dysfunction, and many more. The setting, inflammation and high blood pressure. The study began by taking blood samples from 20,525 people with normal blood pressure. 7.8 years later they measured the same individuals again and discovered that now a quarter of them had high blood pressure, 5,365. In particular, C-reactive protein was then tested. At the same time, the risk of high blood pressure is closely related to it. They concluded, C-reactive protein levels are associated with future development of hypertension. Moreover, hypertension is in part an inflammatory disorder. Interesting stuff? I think so. But what does it mean for you? Start quenching that fire with simple diet changes and heal your hypertension and kidney disease. And you can't go wrong even if you have no elevated levels of C-reactive protein. Because the aim of the game is prevention, isn't it? The solution for inflammation and high blood pressure. Authority figure, consume whole foods such as vegetables, fruits, whole grains, protein, and good fats, fish, nuts, and seeds. Authority figure, remove inflammatory foods for example, sugar, refined foods, caffeine, alcohol, and saturated fats, animal fats. Authority figure, eradicate all known food allergens from the diet. The most common allergenic foods are wheat, dairy, peanuts, fish, eggs, corn, soy, tomatoes, and citrus. Eventually, authority figures, consume more vegetables in your diet daily. They are high in antioxidants that will reduce inflammation and offer reprieve from symptoms. So, please start applying this stuff, because until you do, you don't really know. I hope you enjoyed the video on hypertension and kidney disease. Wish you and family peace. Kidney disease solution. Try the kidney disease solution risk-free for 60 days. New research reveals that one single organ is responsible for almost all cases of high blood pressure. Contrary to what you may think it's not, to the heart to the kidneys to the arteries. In particular, how to naturally reduce high blood pressure with simple, easy-to-work exercises. Free trial program for two months. Link in the description. Thanks for watching. Do not forget like, share, and comment with us.